Welcome to this worked example of an over-the-counter currency option. So why is SPEC using options? Well, SPEC company is a UK exporter and expects to be paid $1 million for an item of equipment to be delivered in 90 days. They're worried about the exchange rate moving between now and 90 days time when they receive those dollars because they've contracted to receive $1 million based on the rate today. So they're going to lose money if the pound strengthens against the dollar as it will receive fewer pounds for the million dollars that it expects to receive. It means the dollar is weakening. However, it will make a gain if the pound weakens against the dollar. The problem is it's not willing to take that risk. So they're looking for an option to hedge it. So how does it work? Okay, so assume the current rate is $1.40 to the pound. And spec companies will be particularly concerned if the rate moves beyond $1.50. That means the pound is strengthening and therefore they'll receive less. It's going to buy, therefore, sterling call options. Now it's call options because call options are the right to buy currency and they need to buy sterling with the dollars that they're receiving. So they're going to buy them at an exercise price of $1.50 per pound. So if the pound strengthens beyond $1.50, spec company can exercise the option and it can guarantee a receipt of £666,000. But if the pound weakens to 120, spec company can let the option lapse. It can therefore exchange at 120 and take advantage of the spot market moving in an advantageous direction and therefore receive over 800,000 for that $1 million receipt. So spec company gets the best of both worlds. They're protected. It's protected against large losses, but can still make gains. However, to buy the options, it has to pay an upfront non-returnable premium, which is costly, but they have effectively hedged their position and can take advantage of gains. They're not obliged to go through with that option.